Okay, so I'm in the Hawk today, and I'm on the grind for the St. Vincent. The Hawk is the Tier 8 battlecruiser from the Royal Navy line. And in this match, I'm against a uh, CV aside, two subs aside, three destroyers aside, a cruiser aside, and five battleships aside. The map's hotspot, and the game mode is domination. The, the guns are 406mm, and that at tier 8 can be quite devastating. I mean, what we've got here in this match is an on tier battle. Uh, I was fortunate enough in a matchmaker to put me up against ships of my tier or less. So, uh, hopefully that will work in our favour. And I can show you what this ship is really capable of. She's got a strong suit of toys. She has torpedoes. She has good ASW. Uh, with a range of 10 kilometers. Torpedoes go out to 8 kilometers. Her detection is 11.8 kilometers, but the gun range is uh, not so great. It's uh, under 20 kilometers, it's around the 18 to 19 K mark, uh, kilometer mark. Not particularly long range. However, she makes up for that with a concealment value of 11.8, so there's that to consider. Now, what I'm waiting for here is for our friend in the U69 to boost activated. spot me some targets. On the nine line. But he seems to be ghosting me. And moving in. <laughs> yeah, they never perform when you want them to, do they? Hey, okay, we've got the Massachusetts B with us and the Hinston Yang. It's going into C as we speak. I've been lit by carrier planes. And there's a monarch in the background over there. Okay, so first potential target. The ship is on fire. Okay, so the carrier lit me, the monarch saw me, and then he instantly got two fires in his first volley. Ah, I wish I had RNG like that. I really do. Problem solved, sir. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Still waiting for the sub to find me targets. Capture that area. Checking out C at the moment. Something smoked up on C. Good by planes again, and there's a submarine on C. Ah, uh -huh. salmon. Okay, chance to show you what the ASW can do. Airborne. Airborne. I, need intelligence I mean, you get two flights of planes uh, for a total of four depth charges, so it's quite strong. It's quite a strong anti-submarine suite. There we go, we're getting to hit two hits from the depth charges. A flood, four incapacitations. Well done, Commander. And he's leaking oil. Leave one. I'm gonna leave one there just in case he decided to stay still. You'd be surprised. Not sure if he's going forward or backwards. He's not there anymore. Okay. Attention, support that target. I'm gonna assume he's trying to shotgun the Massachusetts B, so I'm gonna watch the corner. And I'm lit. Probably the sub. Looks like he might have dived. Lit by planes. Enemy submarine spotted. Ah, there he is. Following the Massachusetts B. Right. Leave those there. Airborne. And there he goes. Enemy submarine hits sunk. From the depth charges. So you can see she's got pretty strong anti-submarine 
warfare capability. That's great. That's good. Okay, you can see Turpitz is pushing through C. I'm going to keep half an eye on him. And he's got a Benson with him. We've also got a Monarch still on the 9 line. He's pushed up. And he's got a Hinsen Yang with him. Who's smoked up on the corner. I'm currently hidden here, but I can imagine my AA is probably giving me away a little. Monarch will definitely be aware of me. I'll drop some torps there. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Okay, Turpitz is pushing. Interesting. Okay, I'm detected by the destroyer, maybe? Turpitz will be detected. Turpitz, that's, uh... Enemy yeah. Get some shots in on the monitor. Okay, a couple of... One pen and two over pens from the 406s. Now the Turpitz. That's going to be important for me activated. to remain angled. So I'm going to keep my angle. I'm going to send some torps his way. Because you've got very good, gun crews very good angles alert. on the torpedoes. Very good angles. Okay. You may, uh, my Citadel armor saved me that. Okay, that was a little lackluster. <laughs> but those torps were good. Wow. Yeah. Two hits. Excellent. The enemy and a flooding. Has taken the lead. Yeah, the enemy team is actually doing quite well at this stage. They are uh, two ships ahead of us on the score. And they've got two objectives. Okay, going to try and light him up with some fires. Got a fire on him. Okay. Yeah, he repaired the flood. Fire. So that's a perma fire. I'm just switching to AP to hopefully finish him off. Fire's still burning. That's great. Keeping my angle until I'm reloaded. Nice and tight. Two fires on me. Now put those out and hit him with some AP. In the upper belt superstructure. Down he goes. Enemy battleship destroyed. As you can see, the uh, <laughs> the guns on this ship are very, Problem very solved, good. Sir. You can do a lot of damage with them. Um, and when you're up against tier 9 and 10 there are some ships that will bounce your shells of course and in those situations using the HE is favourable uh, the fire chance on the HE is something like 45% but I do a full breakdown of the ship build and its capabilities in the conclusion at the end of this video right now we're pushing back to C plan here is to support the Massachusetts B and the Hinson Yang. I've kind of given up on the U-69 though. <laughs> the thing about subs is they'll spot for you for a while, uh, but as soon as they dive, everything vanishes. So, yeah. Not as consistent as a destroyer. Acknowledged. Talking of which, we've got a Benson and a Hinson Yang on the cap somewhere. There's a Hinson Yang. HE is loaded. He's slowing down. Slowing down a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to catch him with any of those. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, 5k almost with one shell. <laughs> Pretty strong. The thing I like the most about the Hawk, and it's this thing that's made the, the grind the, the most fun so far, is the power of the HE. HE is absolutely great against destroyers. Although the AP is pretty good too, to be honest. Okay. So 
uh, the Ramat at A looks like he's heading to B. They've got an Asashio on the line. They still got one ship over us. They've got a one ship advantage. They still have two caps and they're ahead on points. Okay, so we need to even this up a bit. Right there. Try right those right on the edge of my gun range, but we're going to give it a go. Shelves look good. I need support. Only one hit. They did plunge somewhat, didn't they? A lot of vertical dispersion there. One incapacitation. Took a turret. <laughs> Fine. Okay, we've got bombers incoming from their ranger. So far, we've sunk three of their ships. Submarine, a destroyer, and a battleship, the Tirpitz, in a pretty much a straight duel. Okay, there's Benson. Gonna follow the Massachusetts into sea. And put pressure on the Ramat, hopefully. He's slowed down and smoked up, hasn't he? Don't think we're going to hit him. Nope. Okay. Pretty much the instant I fired, he slowed down and smoked up. Uh, okay. Engine boost activated. Now, they do have a submarine out there somewhere, but I haven't seen him. And there's still, what, a couple of hundred points ahead, on, ahead of us. So... There, Asashio is hunting our carrier, and there's not a lot I can do about that. So, I decide to push into B. Now, I'm very much aware of the fact that the Benson is nearby. And could torpedo me. So, I'm keeping my guns trained where I think he's most likely to pop up. And I'm lit. Could be the Benson. That's a submarine. Well, well, well. There's the submarine. And also, we're going to hit him with RSW. And we got torpedo bombers from the carrier coming down upon us. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. A Benson in the area who's probably torpedoing us as I speak. And an Undyne that's about to unload a shotgun attack. Okay, we got the sub. Dodged all the torpedoes. Benson torps. Where are the Benson torps? There. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, we got clipped by one of those. Okay, could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. So we just avoided about 10 torpedoes and clipped one. Okay, I'll take that. And we're now in Kraken country. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Problem solved, sir. We are in Kraken country, people. The only problem is they've only got two ships left up and one of them's a mile away, the Asashio B. It's just an Asashio, actually, isn't it? Okay. So the plan now is to cap B, so we can catch up on points, and head north to find that carrier, because I want a Kraken. So that's what I'm doing next. Now, another thing about this ship is she's got speed boost, and she's quite quick for a battleship. Let's not get too excited here, but she is quite quick for a battleship. Engine she boost can, deactivated. She can go over 30 knots. So we're going to cap, and then we're going to head north to where I believe the carrier is hiding. And as you can see up ahead, at the top of the map, there's two islands. And I think he's hiding behind the larger of those two islands. I've been seeing a constant stream of planes coming from that direction. So that's where we're headed. Battle ends in five minutes. Sure enough, bomber squadron just hooked out from around that island. Now 
And the Hawk does have reasonable AA. More about that in the conclusion, but they are tier 6 planes. Bear that in mind, and it is a tier 6 carrier, so my AA is going to appear to be a lot stronger than it really is. It's still not bad. Okay, we've shot down 28 planes so far. 32. Just getting torpedoed. Yay. Managed to avoid one of those. Fine. Just going to repair the flood. And we're at 34 planes shot down. We're going to get AA expert at this rate. Problem solved, sir. Now bear in mind, yep, there it is. AA defense expert. Those are tier 6 planes and we're in a tier 8 ship with reasonable AA. Not brilliant, but reasonable. Now he should be around this corner, shouldn't he? See if we get lucky. He should be right here. There he is. Hello. Just the one Citadel. I think a lot of those shells went deep. I know I'm a little higher this time. Have a Citadel. Now we're going to drop some torps. Got the high calibre. And hopefully that should be my Kraken done. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. <laughs> what a game. What a match. Yeah. So when she's on her tier, be careful of the hawk. Treat her with respect because she might come looking for you. And she's got strong gun. <laughs> wow. How are we doing on points? Oh yeah, that's fixed it. We've got all the caps. We're up to 844, 850. Game's pretty much in the bag. Heading over to see on the off chance that uh, the Massachusetts Bee would spot him, but uh, we're out of time. What a game. What a game. <laughs> ah. Good times, good times. Okay, so we used every tool at our disposal. We got 40 planes down, 5 ships sunk, we did floods, we did depth charge attacks, we did torpedo hits, we did citadels, we used the guns, we used everything we had. And got ourselves 3 good medals. This is pretty much everything a hawk can do in one battle. Okay, wow, almost 3,000 XP. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay okay we were in a different time zone to everyone else weren't we really except for maybe the Asashio the Asashio on the enemy team did well actually yeah he did okay alright nice spread of damage okay and no confederate for me hmm 67k on the Tirpitz, 43,000 on the Ranger. Ah, good credits. Lots of Commander XP, lots of Ship XP for my Duncan, which is coming up next. And uh, stay tuned for the conclusion to this battle, which is coming up in a few seconds. And thank you for watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that match as much as I did playing it. Uh, this is the Hawk. Uh, she's quite a soft battleship. I guess she's the Tier 8 battlecruiser on the St. Vincent line. As I grind my way up the chain. Uh, I've had a few battles in her now. And I can tell you that the guns are very good. I like the guns. I think they're 406s. Yep. There you are. 3x3. Three three, so three turrets with... 
three guns in each, 406 millimeters. Uh, the range is not that great, but she does have good concealment to offset that. Um, the shell velocity is also not that great. You need to lead a little more than you think, as you'll probably have seen in the video I just showed you. Um, but the guns do hit hard. The fire chance on the HG is a favorable 45%, and she is a good ship at slapping other ships down. She does hit like a truck. Uh, concealment, as I mentioned, 11.8 kilometers. That's with the com captain's skill, of course, in concealment expert, and also with the module. And with that, let's have a look at equipment. So on this particular run, I went with main armaments modification one, handy engine boost modification one to increase her engine boost by 30%. That gives you a couple of minutes of speed boost. Uh, two and a half minutes roughly of uh, engine boost which is very useful for getting in and out of trouble slot 3 aiming system modification 1 dispersion isn't great but this does help with that uh, slot 4 damage control system modification 2 which of course brings down the fire extinguishing time and flood recovery time she does burn at a standard battle cruiser rate so getting that down as much as possible is quite important uh, concealment system modification one in slot five, which is what gives you this really competitive 11.8 kilometer concealment. Right, let's look at the captain build. Um, starting on the first line, gun feeder, so you can switch quickly between your different shell types. The, as the HE is quite useful, and you will be relying on it in those tier nine and ten matches that you will inevitably find yourself in. Uh, line two, I've gone with Brisk. It's a personal choice. Uh, I like the fact that you get an extra 10% speed. And she is quite fast anyway, so that plays into that. There's good synergy. I mean, if we have a quick look at the maneuverability, she does 32 knots. With Brisk and a speed flag, you can get that, uh, let me see, up to 35 point something. Okay, so she can, she can shift. She can move. And then on line three, we're going for Adrenaline Rush. And then line four, your first pick would be Concealment Expert. After that, well, she doesn't have a super heal. So we won't be playing into the classic St. Vincent build of this ship. Uh, other than that, I would suggest Fire Prevention Expert for your next pick. Then Emergency Repair Expert. And then after that, if the burning is bothering you... Basics of survivability. If it isn't bothering you and you think you can get away with it, you could spend those points on something like grease the gears and increasing the fire chance. Although I'm not sure if that's a good pick. Maybe preventative maintenance. Yeah, so maybe that one and that one. Or you could go with maybe if this is your poison to buff her AA defense and give her a little bit more strike damage with her depth charges. Talking of which, her airstrike range is 10 kilometers. Thanks to the various changes, that's very good. So you can, uh, and you get two attack flights. So she does have a fairly good anti-submarine warfare sweep. And that skill would play into that and get you your heals back faster. It all depends on how you feel about burning. <laughs> But I'll leave that to you guys to decide. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the armor layout, shall we? Um, let me see, armor layout. Well, she's got a relatively soft 25mm nose. Reasonably strong deck armor, 32mm. Quite a large superstructure. I wouldn't say it's enormous, but it's there. Yes, you can be farmed. 19mm thickness. And then if we take the nose off and the torpedo protection off, you can see she's got a pretty huge citadel. Um, she's okay when she's angled. And when she's angled, this citadel isn't too bad. But, of course, she is prone to broadside. So don't show your broadside. I'm sure you've heard that a million times before. <laughs> so this ship is no exception. Uh, she doesn't have a turtle back. Okay, so if we put the 
torpedo protection back on. You might get some lucky hits into the side plating and maybe if you're lucky the shells might find the gap and vanish but uh, she has a very sizable citadel and if you look at the back you'll see that it's reasonable actually I was expecting to find a softer citadel armor plate at the back but it's not too bad so angling away or angling towards is going to give you considerably better protection I feel overall she is quite soft though so you know, watch yourself and use your concealment and try to play ambush style. And when you're kiting away, make sure you're well angled. In fact, make sure you're well angled at all times. She's a great ship. Okay. I don't think there's much more to say. She does have torpedoes. She's got two aside. Uh, tor torpedo range is 8 kilometers. Uh, 15k damage, 61 knots. I guess if you're in a brawling situation with a tier, ship on your tier or lower, those could be useful. Um, okay. AA defense isn't bad, actually. 79. She's got the Oralkans and the Vickers. And her AA is not bad. And you can see from her equipment, she also gets defensive AA fire to buff that. Okay. My name's Lone Gun, and this is the Hawk First Impressions. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.